<laughs> of course, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Right. I want to know what you think, America. Give me a call at 1 800 522 8673. My guest tonight is funny enough to keep any religious zealot laughing well into the afterlife. He can be seen nightly on Comedy Central's award winning The Daily Show, and he just hosted the Grammys the other night where he managed to show more flesh than the women who sang Lady Marmalade. Please welcome John Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. John. Shalom. Shalom. God is good. God is great. What's happening, man? What kind of chicks you get the fuck with that Peabody Award? <laughs> Just Terry Gross from NPR. <laughs> Smell it and tell me I'm lying. sitting here. I was just sitting here thinking about the Lord. <laughs> Are you a religious grid. person, Johnny? Am I? Yes, I'm a very, I'm a Jewish with a side of bacon. I'm, I'm really not that religious. <laughs> Are you, you a raised you, Jewish? Though? I was raised Jewish, culturally. Everybody was raised uh, into a religion. Your parents usually try and indoctrinate it into you early, but then you get to make your own decisions by the time you're, you know, Johnny Walker Lynn's age. Um, but I, I just remember not understanding it, but obeying. Second grade, going to school with the matzah and the paper bag. I don't know if you had Jews in your neighborhood. Um, I don't know. You might be from Orange County. I don't know where you people are from. Um, but, you know, it, it, uh, you, you go in, you get the, the matzah in the bag, and, the, you know, the Emmerdino brothers go, Hey, what do you got to eat crackers for? And you're like, uh, years ago, my people were slaves in the land of Egypt. And they're like, ah, let's kick the shit out of the Jew. All right. <laughs> were your parents strident about your upbringing, or were they rather oh, loose about it? They were pretty loose. I, uh, it's hard to, it's all a blur. I mean, uh, you'd go to synagogue, but, uh, you know, you'd bring pork rinds. You know what I mean? Like, the whole thing was, it was all contradictory, the whole thing. They're trying to instill... Uh, uh, morality in you. And that's the only way fine, that... A fine objective for a young kid, right? A fine objective. But, but they don't understand it any, any more than you do. It, you, things go down in generations. My grandparents were kosher. My parents were conservative. I'm literally, if I had blonde hair, I'd be Christian. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, my foreskin at night sometimes starts to grow back. It's a terrible... <laughs> it's hard to, to... Am I sharing too much? No. I think it is. I don't know. You know what it is? That's not that. I just sometimes I watch Cinemax. It's not that it's. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Were you? Did the you Shannon any... Tweed Network. <laughs> That's exactly. Why can't Andrew Stevens figure it out? <laughs> it's always like he's got the videotaped. Uh, a gondola that he sits in. Uh, I know, he's the security he's guy the security who always guy. happens to see right. somebody else fucking and wants to it. <laughs> he walks in with a flashlight. Is everything okay in here? My God. <laughs> Ding, <laughs> just, it's it's, uh, do you think certain people are prone to become more zealous than others? What, what, what do you weak. see as a... The weak. Yes. You know, the people, that, the believers. You, we all know them. They're... they're it's the it's it's not just in religion it's in everything else it's it's extremism it's not religion it's extremism it's the people that you know that you know uh, uh, you know want to lose a little weight and the next thing you know they're in the fucking hospital because they're 65 pounds you know what I mean like it's it's people that just are dancing too close to the edge and and the abyss is there and the need in them is so great that they have to like you have a beard you have a delightful beard, well shorn, a moderate beard, a conservative beard, a beard that says, I'm hip, I enjoy having a beard, it's nice to touch. You don't have a beard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like these motherfuckers, you must have a beard. What, that you can tie with your shoelaces? No. Yeah. You, but it's people that, the choices they make, they make. You know what I mean? It's, but, it's, but, my pubic hair braided underneath. <laughs> Like ski pads. 
Now, uh, I used to think people were weak, John, but in an increasingly petrifying world, isn't the bracketing for weak moving out to include a lot of us? I mean, I, I wonder why people cling to saviors or cling to heroin or cling to their politicians. And I think the world's just gotten turned into such a madhouse. Aren't you ever you tempted to look for about something? It. But no, now you know about it. You never knew. You know, in the Middle East was always the Middle It's not like, you know, 50 years ago they were just sitting around is... playing Uno. Like, yeah. it's fucking... <laughs> we just, we have the Internet. We, we, we look on there now. I think that the idea that somehow these extremists and, and these violent acts are the product of a policy that initiated in, in this country and, you know, that's like saying, geez, why can't black people just sit down and understand where the Klan's coming from? You know what I mean? Like... How is it that we did something and then they went and blow it up and then we have to really do some soul searching? Yeah, why did we build those towers so high? That was fucking ridiculous. We put, we put it right in the way of those planes they were hijacking. You know what but I mean? Don't it's, you it's, think the country's gotten so reflexively afraid to express natural feelings when, when crazy people do something like that? You would think in an America I knew not I don't want to act like I'm from the Truman thing, but I always admired Harry. <laughs> I always liked the fact that Harry dropped one nuclear device, and they said, well, I think they got the message. He said, fuck them, put another one in there. <laughs> it's you like know, originally they were going to drop him over the sea, that it was just going to be like a fireworks display just to go, look what we got. And he went, you know what, just move it if in. You're, if you're there and the wind's right, inch it in. <laughs> <laughs> See what you got. I'm just saying that, that the blame of that is... It's a way for people to blind themselves, to not have to deal with responsibility for their own actions and, and to have them sit there and say, yeah, geez, look, look at the conditions you put us in. And that's why this is happening. It's ridiculous. When somebody approaches you, you seem like a bit of a pragmatist to me. When somebody approaches you and tries to really, in a heartfelt way, tell you what they've found that helped them in their life. Are you, I, you know, I, I always have this initial thing where I think, oh, that's sweet of them. And then I get pissed as they get more right. detailed about it. I think, well, what the fuck? We're different people. Why should it work on me if it worked on Listen, you? Listen, I don't like going to Bennigan's and when they say, ask me about our guacamole. Like, I don't even <laughs> fucking, I don't even want to know about that. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't like people to share anything with me that isn't explicitly necessary for the situation. I really don't. I don't want them, I don't want to know why they're smiling like fucking retarded people. I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know that the inner light that they found blinds them from the inside, and now they, you know, I, I really don't care. I'm just fucking reading. I'm reading on the plane. I don't want to know. And I'll I mean be... that, by the way, in the best possible way. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, people that need to share their happiness with you, it's not real happiness. It's that kind of happiness that comes from, I don't want to kill myself anymore. <laughs> Want to know why? No, I don't want to know why you wanted to kill yourself in the first place. In fact, I'd probably have preferred it if you had done it. Is there any... Huh? This is... Uh... You're quite the people person, this is, aren't you? This is not on TV. Is no, it? no, this isn't on TV. This is on right before The Sopranos, right? <laughs> Which, which religions do you find particularly bizarre? I, I'm always fascinated by the people who say, my God has told me to let a snake bite me. Isn't that fascinating? No, Christianity just makes the most sense. It's a, a, a guy with a kid, kind of hung him out to dry. I know that. We've all been there. You know what I mean? Who hung him out to dry? His dad. <laughs> his dad was, with, you know, his dad uh, didn't listen to him. Judaism is a, a, a wandering religion. It's people that are looking for something for a long time, like 40 years in the desert, uh, but they never quite get there. So it's like that religion. Uh, uh, the people with the cape and the no balls, that was a good one. Um, <laughs> heaven, heaven's Gate. That's what I don't understand, too, about the, the courage thing, that the suicide bombers are courageous. Didn't someone say that they had courage? Bill Maher. Bill Maher said they had courage. And I don't, I don't understand how that's courage. They thought they were going to a place with 72 virgins, and, you know, they were leaving what they thought. How is that courage? Then, it's like they're Vegas. It's like they're Vegas. Exactly. <laughs> but then wouldn't, wouldn't Heaven's Gate have to be courage, too? Wouldn't, isn't that? You I mean, mean the people down in San Diego? Yeah. Well, I'm amazed by them. I love the specificity that you're that fucking insane, right. but you only wear Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Can I tell you, here's how fucked up Nike is. They had a deal with them. <laughs> that was their, they had a sneaker deal with them. Yeah, exactly. It was always, they came out with it or they didn't know. <laughs> I mean, well, Johnny, uh, you've been doing great work down there. Now, what about, I hear this big rumble, man. You might be next in line. You hear Letterman might go over to ABC. I just heard on the news. 
He goes to ABC. They'll be looking at you for CBS. Do you have any urge to leave Comedy Central, or what's the deal? From the day I got there, sure. <laughs> <laughs> John Stewart, ladies and gentlemen. Stick around, John.